Hi guys, it's Omer from MMOHot.com. I'm gonna take a look at the gameplay video in uh, Tales Runner here. To racing MMO by G-Potato. Now if you wanna play Tales Runner, just check out the link in the sidebar. Under the description, that is. I'm in a game right now, I'm waiting for it to begin. It's lobby based, of course. Like most racing games. This game is uh, unique in the sense that it's actually a racing game on foot. It's like a track racing game, there's no uh, vehicles. I've never actually played this track before, so excuse me if I suck. You play entirely with the keyboard, so it's... Well, most racing games are like that. What is this guy talking about? So you found my hideout, you can't come in, blah 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 blah. Alright, now when the game begins, you gotta keep pushing, you know, jump up. You keep in control, and when you land, you gotta click Z. Alright, which way do I... Oh, I don't know what this is. Whoa, there's, there's like rupees here. What are those guys doing? They can't open that... I'm collecting rupees. This is an interesting map. Alright, the door open now. I guess those assholes are waiting until I collected all the rupees until the door open. See, one really unique thing about this game is that all the levels are actually incredibly unique. It's... They're all like really, really interesting. See, now, this guy, I got, I got dodge stuff he's throwing at me now. I'm low on rupees. <laughs> wow, that's hard. So it's racing and platforming at the same time, usually. This this level is really interesting. I've never played this level before. I'm pretty sure I have to do something with those rupees, though. <laughs> Whoa. If I fall now, it's gonna suck. I'm second place. This, this is probably the best I've ever done in this game. If, oh, if I fall down now. Oh my god, we're gonna do really well. I'll go through the same door this guy made. This guy did. No! My rupees! Whoa! I'm, oh my god, I got owned. I get my one rupee back. I'm third place now. This game is really fast paced. Now, one quick uh, con about this game is that if you haven't played these levels before, you are at an enormous disadvantage. Those guys ahead of me most likely played this level a few times already, so. They already know what to expect from the levels falling apart and such. Nobody can pass through me, blah blah. Alright, I'm gonna go for the. Yeah, boy. Alright, I'm skating down through here now. Alright, just land over here. And these levels are usually incredibly large, too. They, they do take a while. There's a whole bunch of different kind of maps. There's more traditional racing maps as well, like a plain old track. But uh, and there's items too, but this is the, this is one map I'm playing right now, one game mode. There's some, uh, one really interesting game mode as well, it's called boss mode. You can play with up to 30 players at once. Basically there's a boss chasing you, you have to reach the end, and whoever reaches the end first wins. And if you, the boss gets you, or the obstacles get you, you basically, uh, die and you have to wait till, uh, the next round. Now, I really want to give, uh, G Potato some props for bringing this game to North America, because it is incredibly unique. I am a bit disappointed though that it's not as popular as it should be. I'm actually first place here. I hope that these... I don't need to have the most rupees or points to win over there. Because I only have one blue gem. The game is still being constantly updated, which is great. Even though there isn't a lot of players, g Potato hasn't given up, given up on it. Oh my god, I can tell. I'm, I'm going to be stuck here for a while. I'm going to lose my first player sta first status. And I'm going to be back at the beginning every time. Now this this is a lot harder than it looks still. Gotta take your time. Slow and steady here. Alright, at least there's a checkpoint over here. Now in a lot of the maps, I usually find myself being uh not even be able to finish the map because uh it's actually really hard at first. You really have to memorize all the maps to be able to stand a chance against some of these other good players online. This map is actually the best I've ever done. Oh my god, that guy just finished. Yeah, you can use dash too, but there's no point of dashing in this level because if I do, I'm just gonna fall off. And time over. I was so close too. That was a tough spot. This is an interesting game though, I would definitely check it out. There's a lot of interesting game modes. You get points for winning these races, you can buy nice clothes. It's uh, very different as well, it's the only game of its kind. What I really like though about this game is the maps are so intense. I really can't emphasize this enough. The maps are crazy as you've seen in this map. And there's a lot more interesting maps too. 
Well guys, that's been the MMO is looking to Tales Runner here. Now if you want to play Tales Runner, just check out the link in the sidebar under the description.